just exiting at El Paso Airport. What a wonderful spot this is. 90 degrees in the shade and it's 8 o'clock already. Built up our bikes here. Good afternoon, this is day five, and we're getting close to our campsite. Just went through the Black Canyon and uh, survived that. It was very challenging terrain there. Uh, incredibly steep roads, very rough. Uh, good scenery, but uh, yeah, it was sometimes hard to enjoy it because the work was so hard. And today, 
terrain was not as steep, but the roads were super rough. Made it somewhat painful on the hands and on the butt. And, uh, but overall, it's been quite an adventure and uh, I'm glad to be here. And we're at the toaster house here in bustling Pie Town, New Mexico. You can see why they call it the toaster house. That's quite the eclectic little hostel. And uh, not the only place for many, many miles to resupply nourishment. Yeah. Got some cat food. Oh, this is going to be my lunch for today. Oh, shoot, it's empty, darn it. What do we got here? Sterno? Oh, yeah. Look at all the free shoes. Come and get it. This is awesome. Some of them have seen better days, though. I finished it. Mm -hmm. you're, the, you're the winner of the competitive eating contest today. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave at least my garnish behind. Good morning. So probably about our eighth or ninth day now. I can't even remember, but uh, had a beautiful morning waking up in the West uh, Malpai wilderness area super quiet last night not even crickets is unbelievable as you can see the road is a little bit worn this road becomes completely impassable after a rain turns to thick gooey mud <clears throat> and uh, of course there's always a few morons that decide they want to drive it under those conditions so we have plenty of deep ruts but uh, managing to try to stay in between the ruts and uh, so far I haven't wiped out yet anyway it's a gorgeous morning temperatures are perfect and uh, as you can see it's very serene here look at these ruts don't do the regular route through the West Malpai unless you got tubeless tires because man are there a lot of goat heads here I pulled off about at least 15 goat heads all of them went through and sealant came out thankfully the sealant seems to be working this would be a nightmare here if you had tubes and uh, make sure you have plenty of extra sealant too just in case and maybe a patch patch kit
hitting the camera. <laughs> Top of the morning. Uh, good day. I think we should take the high road today. I think we have no choice. And today is our, I think, 11th or 12th day. Have to climb up some massive hills to get to Abiquiu. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but if we don't, it's been nice talking to y'all and uh, donate my body to science. Good day. <laughs> on our last day here on the way up to or down to Abiquiu. Had a nice campsite last night in a beautiful meadow. Very chilly. 30, 27 degrees this morning and our water bottles are frozen. <clears throat> and we got some serious uh, pushing are coming our way. No way. Don't do it, Eric. You're going to bust your rim. Well, it looks like Eric finally met a road that was more than he could ride. Ugh. Didn't think it was possible, but even... Point me downhill on this. Uh... Yeah, well, let's go ahead and do that, Eric. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to see you catch some air off one of these big boulders. Oh, yeah. Almost there. Only another two and a half miles. Ooh. That looks tough. Thank you.